other events coming up as well. I heard Helper saying we have an Arcadian coming yep, up. Yep, the week after, December 14th. I might be going to that. <laughs> hey. So anyway, we got uh, King Ark against uh, Vivi. Vivi sticking with Lucario in this, uh, King Ark sticking to his tried and true Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting a lot of poison off of those um, with a leaf shield. And right now, like, he's doing a great job of just interrupting a lot of Lucario's mobility with the pallets, catching those jumps, catching those dashes. So it's really, really great, and it's a lot of fantastic chip damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great catch on the spot dodge as well. Catching him with the back air. Still right keeping now, him off stage. Great judge guard opportunity. <gasps> and the back air oh, was so nice. great. But BB perfectly timing his tech right there, knowing that that's still techable. Trying to catch the tech in with the up smash, but of course not connecting it. And right now, BB just needs to get something started. The falling nail, unfortunately, not converting into anything at all. I don't even think. Has, has BB really played King Heart that much? As far as I know, but. Um, I mean, I think they play quite a bit. You know, BB and uh, King Ark both go to Xenos and both go to uh, Xeno Mondays. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just see each other a lot, but I guess that's probably just my experience. But anyway, back to the match. So, it, King Ark sitting at 76% on his first stock. And still not able to touch BB for the entirety of the second stock. BB just doing a great job of holding on to this, but then just as I say that, he gets pellet, grabs, order, missing the up air and into a back air, up air, up air. Mary gets him up with the leash shield a bit. BB with the dash attack. Catching, catching his metal blade. BB doing a great job of, of just like playing around those pellets, making sure not to get hit by it, making sure just to keep his momentum. Yeah, and Lucario's maneuverability can really help him get around those uh, those pellets. Um, I love the pivot grab coming from King on just a couple of uh, seconds ago. Mm -hmm. Dash attack, putting him at 130 off stage. Gonna set a crash bomber on the ledge. Okay. <gasps> Woo! The hitbox. On I the thought there for a second. I thought V was just gonna get hit. Yeah, just no. gonna get uh, stuck underneath the stage. But not at all. But the hitbox coming out from extreme speed. Ooh, falling back here, trying to get a grab, but I think V air dodge in it. Perhaps shifted in a little too much. Regardless, the dropping forward and such a floaty character like Lucario. Yeah. <laughs> All right, King Ark trying to press him with the pellets. But Vivi hitting him with the Auras here. Yep. Ooh, she tried to get something with the Z drop. Uh, the Z drop, uh, what do you call it, the Metal Blade. Because that could have been really, really big damage if he landed it. But right now, like, King Ark is doing so well this game, hitting so many of those back hills, ridiculously destroying it. Oh, that was a nice metal blade of back air combo. And he gets another back air from King, the ledge. Like, honestly, Mega Man gets so much off of blade and so much off of those ledge traps. His back air is definitely one of the most solid in the whole game. It is, man. And, and it has kill power to it as well. Setting up another crash bomber on ledge. Okay, right, now Vivi just needs to find a way to close out the stock if he has any hopes of taking game one for himself. Well, obviously, I think it's implied that you need to take a stock to win a game, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, he got the lead too, but still punishing with a grab. Nicely reserved. That was beautiful. That was a nice... You see the way he chased him down after he threw that, uh, after he threw that metal blade. He's like, come here, come here, Lucario, let me slice you up a bit. <laughs> that was so, so good. Um, going into game two, they're going to be banning FD and Lilat. Um, yeah, he definitely wants those approach options on those other stages. He doesn't want to be playing full footsies because it, otherwise it'd be a little bit too... I don't know, he would just struggle to get in on the car on a stage like FD. Um, and he just doesn't... He bans Lila just to keep the consistency up. You see Vivi thinking this. He want to go hero, but he is going to be sticking to Lucario. Which I think just seems like a better matchup in that case. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think with, with Hero, Hero just gets stuffed yep. out all the time by pellets. Right, and right now, he is just getting a little bit of chip damage with those pellets. Both of them playing it really, really patiently, but VV getting the charge hit of neutral beam down air, only doing 4.9% compared to Mega Man's Chad, 32%. Mm -hmm. Now, see, I mean, if here, if VV did go Hero in this case, he would be, he would be putting himself in a really good situation if he got bounced. But, you know, since that's very situational, I guess that's why he just decided to stick with Lucario for this one.
Like right now, that was such a great down throw, converting into a forwarder and then another back here. Right now, Vivi's off stage, not where he wants to be, but has so little landing lag that King Oak is just unable to punish it accordingly. Yeah, and plus Mega Man's dash speed isn't really doesn't really help him out that much either, trying to chase him down. Ooh, that's a, a really throw. great tomahawk grab, just catching him on the whiff to always do. Um, missing the two frame timing there. It's back here. Picking out the stock. Right now you just see King Oak, um, just maybe searching for the back here, maybe an up tilt opportunity, but the up smash, surprisingly not enough to take it. Not really sure what happened there. That's usually a very potent move. Oh, he got him with like the, the, the bottom part of, yep. uh, actually managed to hit him in the head. Using, uh, to so opt for the forward throw, just, <gasps> oh, he oh, falls out of the back there. Wow. <gasps> Gets a grab, though. Back throw. Back throw. Not enough to take it. Not yet, but he does a crash bomber on him. He tried to cast, he tried to counter the, uh, the crash bomb before it exploded, but luckily it didn't kill him. And right now, this is a completely different set, uh, game than it was game one. Um, Vivi sitting at 182%, not where you want to see Lucario. Oh, the rage and aura mechanic is so frightening. And right now, it's going to be a ledge trap scenario. Yep. This stuff from the cars, bump bump from Vivi. And he's sitting at 185. He's only a few percent away from Max Aura. 34% just in that one conversion. <gasps> oh, but misses the up smash. That could have been it if he charged the S smash. He missed it again. Yes, there you oh go. Oh my god. And that's... That that's, is the momentum. That's the power of Lucario at Max Rage, at Max Aura, yep. and Max Rage. It's you die at 50. There's it's no, so scary. there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You die at mid percent. Yep. <laughs> All right, so taking this one to uh, game three. Give it set right now. Mm -hmm. Jumping into game three. The fact that King Oak was, when you, you have to always keep a stock lead against Lucario because then otherwise Lucario has no incentive to approach you and then you'll be dying at 40% to things like F-Smash which is not the situation that you want to be in. At mid-stage too. <laughs> right now, King Oak doing a great job of just keeping the percent lead off the conditioning of the shield despite with the Metal Blade is beautiful getting a grab off of it. Ooh, I love that I love that chase. Just able to pivot, grab it, grab him, deal a little bit of extra percent. Oh, trumped him with the back here. I ah, love the wall yeah. play. Just threw off King Ugg's timing completely, forgetting that on stages like Talos he can do that. Mm -hmm. That's why I guess that's why VV made the option to not ban this stage, so that way he gets good utilization of the walls. But right now, BB is just getting percent after percent. King Oak needs to clutch out the stock right now if he wants, like, if he just doesn't want the same situation as happened game two. Back Way back though. Again, using the walls to just to uh, stall his recovery. And he was trying to interrupt the recovery with the pellets, but BB did a great job of just, like, looping around them. Um. I love the patience Carrying from Vivi right now, making sure he's not in range of a back there, making sure he's not going to get hit by anything, and the aggressive option to recover. Vivi taking the first stock, surprisingly. Now staying at 157% with yeah. the Metal Blade into the reverse aerial rush back out. Yeah, now King Ark could definitely take a, a, a breath right here, knowing that he sealed uh, one of Vivi's stocks. Mm -hmm. Taking him away from his aura, taking him away from his rage. And right now, uh, both of these players are just like playing really, really patiently, really non-committally. Um, I think Vivi was trying to go for some sort of a job lock setup there, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen Lucario get a job lock setup. Nah, that's that's kind of a rare moment there. But regardless, right now, King Arthur is just doing a great job of racking up the percent, committing to the downer, leading a low recovery, but uh, right now he's going to get edge guarded for it. Oh, well, that was a good throw to throw to horse. Yep. Oh, but he's gonna catch him with the up tilt. And that's not enough quite yet on any other stage that would have been it, but not on Talos. Yeah, this this stage of ceiling I think is even higher than uh, definitely higher than the uh, town and cities. 
Oh, and what just happened Phoebe there? Phoebe just choosing to drop. Okay, that's fine. Blue chillin', blue pick chillin'. He's just like, <laughs> stock lead, 62%. He's like, he's like guess I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> guess I'll die. <laughs> um, but right now, he just has to find a way to hit. He has to, he has to get something started on, on uh, King Hug. And it's gonna, a lot of it's gonna rely on building up the order so that he can kill him. This is very, very dangerous right now for Vivi. Uh, dodging the up smash. Oh, he's gonna keep him in the air. I love the fact that he down aired and then drifted behind the down air, but that is bringing it to a very even game right now. Right now. Hmm. Okay. Up throw, it's an up air. drop the metal blade. And I really love that he fainted Vivi. He was making him think he was gonna go run back and grab the metal blade, but said chose to offer an aggressive option. I love the use of the metal blade right there because it would have stuffed out any approach for Vivi in addition to neutralizing the order sphere. The use of up air. And then now the both of them are just like passing around the metal blade to one another. <laughs> He's gonna put it there in the corner, but he's gonna eat the leaf shield. Oh, Ooh. almost catch again with that aura smear after they get it within there. Ah, uh, King Hug had the right idea, but wasn't able to get his option out in time. Getting hit by TV's upbeat. But right now, this is very, very, very scary. And the F smash taking it out. Wow. Mm -hmm. Huh. Alright, so now we're gonna go into game number game four. Game. Game. We, got a, we got a good crowd tonight. <laughs> yeah. We got a good crowd tonight going in. Man, they're, they're a rowdy bunch too, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they are rowdy. Right now, King like scratched the back of his neck, knowing that he has to find more consistent ways to take out Vivi a little bit earlier. So, because the longer the game drags out, the better it is for Lucario, much like it is fighting Wario. And right now, opting for Smashville, um, you know, Mega Man's able to stay all up in Lucario's face, make sure that he can't camp him out. But um, Vivi right now with the percent lead. It's a grab back throw. Uh, he caught his jump there with the, uh, the, the up air. Mm -hmm. Wait, falling back here from the platform, calling out um, Eevee's just inability to throw out a defensively option in time. And right now, this is a very, very even set. Um, you see both of them just trying to get something going. Like, King like, wants to throw him off stage. Lucario, like, obviously just, like, wants to get, like, one of those really hard leads, like, with an F smash. Mm -hmm. Great up air. Oh, watching where he's gonna land. <gasps> I love those dashes and turnarounds. He's just mixing up his movement so much. He's just making. <gasps> oh, he's gonna catch that uh, roll from the leg. That was perfect. Up tilt. That was really, really perfect. He just had it. He he set him up perfectly, and and Vivi was just like completely unaware. Well, not completely unaware. Just like maybe for the moment, just forgot that this was an option that Mega Man could throw out. Mm -hmm. I think that's what a lot of people mostly sleep on. Most a lot of people sleep on that up tilt, mm -hmm. but. You accidentally put yourself in a situation where Mega Man can't hit it. Ooh, I love it. Um, right now, King Oak's ability to just like dash under that nail and be able to get a grab off of it. Getting a little bit of extra percent there, perpetuating his countering, stuff. countering the Crash Bomber, but could get a hit on it. Ooh, getting a little bit more damage with the pallets and BB using his own uh, blade against him. Busting through that leaf shield. Ooh, Vivi oh. was trying to maybe counter one of the pallets because him sweeping across the stage would have definitely caught uh, King Ugg off guard, but he mm -hmm. was just ready. He was making sure enough to do that. King Ugg pressuring him with the pellets. Mm -hmm. Just throwing off his momentum so much, not able to run in and grab him in time, or react and grab him in time. Unfortunately, on King Ugg's part, but very fortunate for Vivi. Ooh, oh, good grab there. And he read an aggressive like uh, option to recover with, maybe with like an up air, 
And I like it, but maybe it's a little bit too significant of a lead, considering that I don't think King Oak has done that in the set so far. But what was that, the neutral beat? Yeah. Oh, no, not yet. Again, still adding more fuel to the fire, yes. but that was a good call out from King Art. So good, so patient. He covered all of his bases, you know? He covered it with the F smash. He covered, like, he just made sure that, that like, what Vivi was going to do would be at a predictable angle, and he was ready with that forward. Regardless, right now, Vivi is at a significant deficit, considering that King Oak is only at 50%, which is ever growing. Wow, the platform pla uh, combo extension. Helpful. Now both of them just trying to find a way in, but King Art finds a way in with a forward there. Trying to get something started again with the Z drops, but oh, couldn't able to get it. Dashing in. But no, this is definitely King Art's game to take a great conversion the early hits of Metal Blade into grab. Yeah, I think it's the second time this game he's done that. And like, you know, right now BB's maybe getting a little bit desperate. He yeah. wants to take out the stock, but can it's so difficult, but the dash attack, dash attack wow. Never even knew yeah. that could kill. Going oh. back to his desperation, I mean, you saw the way he threw out that aura sphere. You could tell that he just wanted to take that stock Ooh, away from him. King Oak missing the ledge jump maybe a little bit too early with that. Um, regardless. BB's like playing really patiently, just dancing around and dancing around his hitboxes. And this is once again scary for King Oak. One slip up, and that could be his stock. <laughs> Woo! Catching, catching uh, VV out of up with up there in a forward there. Good, that was good nice. call out again from King Art. That was really, really nice. Wow, I love yeah, that. And that setup has earned his way into game five. Wow. Again, we have another Game 5 situation here in Losers. Definitely all these players tonight putting their hearts out and definitely giving it their all here. Honestly, like... What? I don't know. Um, also, shout-outs to Ace Attorney, uh, the Zelda main from New Jersey, for tweeting that it is difficult to watch the King Arc versus Vivi set because King Arc is such a good-looking man. Um, it's, it's, this is a good tweet. Um. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> shout outs to you, hey, Ace. You know something? I, 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 I can't argue with that. I mean, King King Ark is pretty sexy. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, um, <laughs> jumping into game five, they're gonna be opting for <laughs> PS2. Um, and then right now, oh god, something about King Ark's movement and his turnarounds is just really, really, really smooth. But that's not to count out Vivi at all with those great dashes and jumps and just making the most out of those beauty boosts, especially with the neutral be there. but he's now stuffing him out with these projectiles. Ooh, I love just how much options uh, King Oak might be covering at once with like the up air, just like making sure to catch those dashes and then going with the forward air uh, to catch him still standing on platform. Vivi getting uh, trying to start most of his things with drop downs, but King Oak is pretty well adapted to that already. Like with those pivot grabs, once again, are just simply shielding it. You're gonna get him off stage with the with the uh, nair. We also got a compliment on Vivi's movement here. Very, very, uh, very great movements coming up from Vivi. Again, like you see, like Vivi circling between the platforms, doing the charging nuke, she'll be the charging nair, and for the most part, that's safe. Uh, Lucario's nair is one of the safest nairs on shield in the game. That back here almost taking the stock, but Hingo is not air dodging too much, just choosing to jump right back on and is able to get back successfully. That aura sphere. Oh, but King Vivi using King Arc's Metal Blade against him, converting it into a dash attack. Vivi now sitting at 100%. Just gonna tag him a little bit with the charge aura sphere. Oh, but King Arc is gonna get him with that up tilt, making this game pretty even. Not just pretty even, extremely even, considering they're only a single percent away. But Vivi getting a little something started with the grab, grab, Ooh, with the grab, fair, fair, up air, already putting King Arc at 40%. Uh, 
Getting a little pew pew, a little bit of the chip damage here and there, but also more importantly, interrupting Vivi's momentum because that's what pellets are for. They're just to interrupt your flow, just to make sure that you're never really comfortable missing the Z drop into back air, but still connecting just the Z drop. Gets two up airs out of it. Vivi's gonna catch his metal blade. Good air dodge from Vivi. Oh, almost tacked him with his own metal blade again. And Vivi, a fantastic <laughs> back air calling out uh, King Goyx jump. Has, has anybody even counted how many times Vivi has caught his metal blade in this one game? Mm -hmm. He's caught it a couple of times and used it against King Arc. Ooh, Ooh. And so good. Yeah, that was really, really great. Whoa. And the back air, wow, almost Not enough to take it. Yet. But the back throw is still not enough, especially, you know. Let's see. Ah, uh, but he's going to get that tech again. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that wasn't going to work the first time. It's not going to work the second time. And right now. And now King Arc King is Arc sitting is just at... looking for the kill. Yes, and Vivi got a little bit too committal with those new skill beasts. And now it is a totally even game. Right now, the person who's going to get this started first is definitely might be the one to take it. So Vivi's yeah. starting it off. And both players Woo! are now are sitting on their tournament stock. Good, wow. forward, good forward in the back here from King Arc. And right now, King Arc just really, really, really needs to. Wow. Great metal blade into a grab. Up air. Shielding the forward airs. Vivi tagged him a little bit with that, with that charge or spear, but he's going to get a dash attack on him. Avoiding the metal blade. King Arc missing the back air. But anyhow, right now, this is still so even. I think that was oh. an up smash, but it traded and knocked him out of it prematurely. Both of these players are doing a great job of just keeping each other out right now. Ooh, and right now, this is the advantage for Vivi. Vivi yeah. with the dash back, he was ready to F smash him. Had King Arc tried to go for the tech. So really, really smart that he did it. And King Arc pulling through a little bit here, but VV retaliating. And both these players making this game really, really even. And but with, but with Metal Blade air. in hand, King Arc is going to get him with that back air. Almost got the two for him as well. Oh my god. And he jumped and got shot up by the win box. Wow. Talk about anti climactic. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> you know, just, that was it, not the way I would have expected that kind of a It just ends like that. Windbox. Yep. yep. That was definitely not the way I was.